What's our course, Captain? Principe, Quartermaster. We're sailing for the coast of Africa. we know sink enemy ships as you wish One left. Almost ready. Stands up. Let's get moving. Let's ram it. Finish it off, and then board. This guy's going to be the captain. Yeah, it was. He's dead now. Oh, bloody time. Five crew members, not bad.
I think we'll start off by getting this vantage point. Let's get the sleep darts out. <sighs> Easy enough. Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Headstrong strong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templar's attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can. Double assassinate free pirates. And there's a brute. Two brutes, actually. Stealthy, stealthy. And there's two guards coming there, they are. Just need these to turn around and then I'll go after them. Oh, God.
Two blindest guards in history. Right, let's free some pirates. So those guys free. Probably be wise to stay away from this little area. Let's go back round. This place is absolutely crawling with pirates. Could kill him with those barrels, but there's in truth not much point. It attract the attention of every single other guard in the area. Here comes another two now. There's probably some pirates up there. See, this is unfortunate timing because I'm going to need to sneak up on them two without that guy seeing me. See me from there. Fortunately, smoke bombs come in quite handy for that. Yeah, there's some pirates up here. Very heavily guarded.
Right, pirates are freed. Unfortunately, I think I'm nearly out of small bombs. So I best not mess up again. Need to find these guys pretty swiftly. Got them. Drop your socks and grab your cocks. This ship is sailing. Oi, roast yourselves and roll your asses to port. <clears throat> you done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully? Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? <clears throat> In honest service, there are thin columns, no wages on. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? <laughs> now, I have been among you six weeks. And in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. And with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But... If it's a captain you see in me now, I then, I'll be a bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! You fatten with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time, west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. 
Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bind them. But what is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Ah, oh, that all men are sheep. And an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. Captain Kenway, should we use your ship for this next scheme or mine? I'd first hear the details before deciding. Oh, it's a small gambit. This fount of information has just told me that a nearby galleon contains the treasure I seek. For his sake, I hope he's right. You've thought this plan through? Indeed. Using this man will acquire a Portuguese flag, which will get us as close to our target as possible. It's a very simple idea, if you follow my orders to the letter. The jackdaw, then. Excellent. We're underway, Roberts. So what's your plan? The flagship of this fleet is transporting a valuable treasure in a large chest. Crystal files filled with blood. May you remember? With the chasing drams of blood? Is that all? I asked you to follow my instructions to the letter, Captain. But I did not give you leave to question why. I want those blood files intact. And if that does not happen, we part as enemies. Do you understand? I'll try to, I. All we've got. Clue up, short of sail. It's like we've got a lot of ships in front of us. It's a blockade. There's the thing for us, Captain. You see that ship here? We'll need its flag for this ruse to work. If I can steal that flag without disturbing so much as a flea, I'll do it. By all means, try. Come in, Sir Lark. Oh, the Lord of the Isles! If you will, the best soil, hey, go slow. If you will, the best soil. Vamos se encontrar nesta noite tão formosa. Vai, vai, obrigado. Só porque eu passei por esta fome que eu estou a fazer. Bom fora. Está tudo em ordem para este lado. Sim, senhor! Tudo em ordem, senhor! Estamos apenas à espera que o nosso navio almirante seja reabastecido antes de zarpar. Ah! E julgo que um dos nossos navios mercantes da nossa frota necessita de um novo mar. Há homens em terra neste momento em busca de uma arte que sirva de tal propósito. Bem, embarcador. Compõem a maior parte da nossa frota, senhor. Os nossos 42 navios, diria que mais de dois terços são embarcações mercantis. Ah, o mundo continua. Por causa de todo o vivo que tenham de bom, sai de tirar. Sim, senhor, exatamente. Daí as nossas precauções. Com tantos piratas nestas águas, esta frota necessita de bastante proteção. Não é uma tarefa leve guardar quase três dúzias de navios. Peço perdão, senhor, mas não estou a conhecer o seu navio. Nem sequer transporta a bandeira do rei. Ah, oh, sim, foi. Olá, pirata. 
Falar consigo, Dobra. Entrega os meus cumprimentos ao seu capitão. Certo, senhor. Ele de momento está a dormir. Vai lamentar não ter tido a oportunidade para falar consigo. Não a pena. Até à próxima. E que Deus vos abençoe. Handled quite well. Two casualties, both of them with the sentries. You got the flag. Aye, and we're flying it now. This should do nicely. I'll keep my distance, slow and steady. Aye, the flag we stole won't protect us from eyes that pry too long. Por favor, senhor, implore que considere aquilo que está prestes a fazer. Now it was even. What's he whinging about? He's not whinging. He's a static. <laughs> Catch the wind. from that ship could that be our prize perhaps you should go ashore captain kenway find that chest and if it contains the prize i seek do this do that right. Excuse me. I'll need to take the sentry out as always, most likely anyway. Can see. Ow. He deserved that. Damn. 
May I loot this chest? Empty. Shore was full of empty vines. Where's our Portuguese captain? He had outlived his usefulness. Where is he? Sleeping soundly at the bottom of the sea. How many men must we kill for a simple prize? As many as drift into our path. Look on that, Captain. Men who ran the same gauntlet and lost their way. I need a sterner stuff, Annie. How often have those been a sailor's last words, I wonder? the ship itself and save us a bit of time. Aye, that's the way I play it. We can bring the jackdaw close up, but those lookouts would be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. That brute just got absolutely destroyed. Ah, 
was about to say sod this and charge in, but I've thought against it. Been spotted. Took them long enough. To court us all, man the cannons. Every last hand. On your command, Captain. Let's hear the roar of this beast. Get the main stones into the wind. Crowd on every inch. No, oh, this should be good. Fighting with one of these. Goodbye. Nice back cannons. Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or we'll work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. <laughs> 